Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a jacuzzi tub. First thing you need to do is get my template off of my website. It's free to download. Cut out all the pieces. And then what you're going to do, once you have it cut out, you're going to find the center of the first piece, which is the tub top, and measure it. Direct center. Okay, so once you found the center, which should be at two inches because it's a four inch piece of wood, you're going to mark that and draw a line straight down. After that, then you want to get a pretty sharp knife and you want to score that line. Score it lightly about six times. Okay, once you've done that, it should snap in half just like this. Now you want to put your two pieces together and you want to cut out the piece for the middle for where your tub is going to go. I'm using a container that I cut the top of it off and I just left the lip here and a lip here. So I want to cut the inside of that so that my tub will fit. Okay, so the easiest way to do that is to tape it together and then you want to take it on a bandsaw or a coping saw and you know you want to cut that out. You want to come in just a little bit further than where your container is going to sit. So if your container goes to the edge like that, you want to come in like this so that you're above and below that lip. Okay, so once you have it cut, you want to go ahead and glue it back together. Now I'm doing both sides just because it's a fresh cut and it's going to be an end. So the wood's going to, I mean the glue's going to soak into one of them, if not both of them. Okay, so there you have it. You have your hole cut out. And now I'm going to put some masking tape on it, just to kind of hold it until it is dry completely. Make sure you have them even, just like that, and do the same to this side. All right, next you want to take your sides and your top and get them ready, pre-sand them. Okay, so you want to take your side, apply some glue right along the edge there. And then you're going to put it directly on top of this, making sure that it's even with this edge over here. And then you're going to take your side and you're going to apply glue on that edge and all along the bottom edge. Then you want to glue them together. Put some masking tape on it to hold it until it dries, and then do these two sides the same exact way we just did those. Turn it over, push it down to make sure you got it nice and level. And then put some masking tape on that to hold that as well. Okay, so you should come up with a base that looks like this. All right, now your next step is to get yourself some super glue, crazy glue, whatever you want to call it, that sticks to wood and plastic. You want to go ahead and apply it generously along there. The gel seems to work really nice because the gel will actually be thicker to deal with and it won't run on you as much as the other one will. Like I'll show you real quick the difference. You see how that's kind of just sitting there? 
Well, here is the gel. I mean, here is the one that's not the gel. Do you see how that's just kind of more runny? Which actually, I'm going to use that on this little thin lip here because it's kind of hard to squeeze it out of that gel one for the thin stuff. Just because it's almost empty, not because it's hard to deal with. Okay, so, and I also put a little piece of masking tape there and there just to help secure that for future purposes if a child is going to play with it or whatever. All right, now you want to go ahead and put it in there. Try to have it as straight as you can. Okay, and then that's what you'll come up with right there for that part. Okay, so once you have that done, then you're gonna go ahead and take some regular glue and you are going to attach your support piece. That's basically this piece here. Some glue here and over here and over here and then along this back edge. Okay, and I'm gonna put this in with this facing down, this facing this side, and then these will touch the sides of it. All right, you wanna press it up against this edge here, and then press it down to the bottom. Depending on how thick your bowl is, you may have to notch out the middle of the wood just a little bit. Repeat that process for down here, and you'll be done with that part. Okay, so you should have a piece on each side, and that should hold that up. Let it sit for a while to dry, then remove all the masking tape. Okay, once you have everything completely dry, you want to go ahead and sand the entire project. Okay, so for the faucet, we're going to design a little waterfall fountain that comes out. I actually have one of these on mine, so that's where I got the idea from. You want to cut a popsicle stick and then round the other one by sanding it. And all I did was take the opposite end of the stick and I traced it like that, cut it off straight, and then sanded that part. Okay, so then you want to take a smaller piece and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put some glue on there. Put it very close to the edge of the back to where you have a lip. And then you want to have it even on both sides, just like that. Okay, after that, then you want to take your other piece. some glue on it and you're gonna put that directly in the center of that one okay you want to let that dry okay so you should have a little lip there a little lip there and a larger lip here once it's dry, you want to go ahead and paint it some metallic silver everywhere except for on the bottom. Don't paint that because that's where we need the glue to stick. All right, now you want to find some beads of your choice, put them on a stick pen, crazy glue the top to the seed bead and then just have it like that. That way when you go to turn it, it will still rotate. Okay, so just so they have the same metallic finish, I'm just taking the same paint that I just painted the other thing with and I'm just kinda going over top of this. It would be best to put some clear nail polish on it to seal it if you're using an acrylic base paint. All right, so at this point you wanna go ahead and like sand the edge to a little roundedness right here 
make sure they're all even. You can either erase your little lines where you drew, or you can just um, paint over top of them, it doesn't matter. As long as your paint has a primer in it, it should go ahead and cover it. I like using Bare Ultra Premium just because it does cover really, really well. So I paint all the stuff in my actual house with. So I just buy it for the dollhouse if I'm not using acrylic. Okay, so make sure you wipe it out real good. Wipe it off. All right, now you can measure to the center or you can cut a piece of paper the length of this if you're unsure of the exact measurement. Fold it in half and then that's going to give you the center, just like that. So that's the center of this base. Now you can take your little faucet and you can glue it on there like that or you can paint it and then glue it on there, but be sure to leave out the spot where the glue needs to stick so that it will have something to stick to. Okay, so what I've done is I've traced a little thing around the bottom of this so that I know not to paint that area. Remember, leave that little spot, and if you go in a little bit, that's fine too. Just make sure you have the bulk of it available for um, the glue to stick to it. But it is a good idea to go just a smidge inside your line that way, um, when you glue it on, it's sure to cover everything. All right, well, I'm gonna finish painting this and I'll be right back. All right, now I'm gonna put this on here while that's still wet. That way the paint will help stick it to it as well. I just put some glue on the back of that and I just put it there like that. Now this is considered a waterfall fountain for the faucet. So it's supposed to look round like that. And the water comes out like a waterfall. All right, next, once it's dry, not before then, you're gonna drill holes on each side of that for your handles. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken a popsicle stick and I've found the center of it. I drilled a hole in there. And then I'm gonna place this right up against here when it's dry, and I'm gonna drill my hole straight down there. Then I'm gonna turn it over here and drill it over there. That's gonna ensure that I have them exactly the same spacing next to each other. And I'm going to take an e make it even by making sure it's even with the back. At this point, you're gonna take your faucet pieces and you're going to stick them down in that hole. Just like that. When you have them in there, you can do one or two things. You can crazy glue them and cut the ends off, or you can put a bottom base on here. If children are gonna play with this, I would suggest that you secure everything and anchor it all down so that you don't have any mishaps and the kids don't choke on these small parts. But that's the tub. It needs to be cleaned. <laughs> Still a little wet, but you can kind of see how the waterfall faucet's gonna work out. Just like that. So now to make the jets, I'm just using a thin piece of plastic tubing that you can get at your local fish department. I'm cutting it uh, not quite an eighth inch, just a little bit smaller than that. You want to cut as many as you're going to need. And then here's what I did. I stuck them on these little pliers. like that one at a time then I got this little handy torch and that's just softening the edges of them where I just cut make sure you do it in a well ventilated area if you're gonna do that so that you don't get toxic fumes I don't know if it's toxic but it could be and 
don't touch it right away because it could be hot. Okay, so then you want to paint them and then we'll crazy glue them in there as jets. Okay, so when you're going to paint them, it's best to put them on something that is stiff so that you can hold it and paint it. All right, so once you have your jets, you want to take the side that looks more rounded and you want to put that toward the front and crazy glue on the back. And that will simulate the jets. Apply as many as you want in there, and then you'll have it. All right, so. You can put as many jets as you want on there and just continue the process all the way around it and then you'll be done. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. And you can just add as many jets as you want to it. leave some without jets or you can add them all the way around but that's it for the jetted tub okay guys thanks for watching and don't forget to follow dollhouse manager madness and tutorials.com also check us out on facebook dollhouse manager madness and tutorials and on youtube like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time and leave a comment question or suggestion because we love hearing from you and if you like pinterest we have tons of pens on there as well under laurie holden heisler all right thanks a lot have a great day